Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at The Celebration Shop and today I'm going to show you how to upload files into Cricut Design Space. And not only that, I'm going to show you the difference between an SVG and a PNG file and when you want to use which for your project. So this Prayer Life file is something that I worked with a couple of weeks ago. I made a video about how to create a Tumblr um, with this file. So I'm going to put a link above for you to hop over to that project if you'd like to make the Tumblr. Um, but for today, I'm just going to walk you through how to upload these files and which one you want to use. So if you've not already, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and join me here every week for new videos. Let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I just opened up a new canvas and I've gone ahead and imported the uh, file that I'm going to be using today, but I want to show you how to do this. Um, before we go over to the upload, this is where you'll upload the file. Um, if you hop down in the description below, you can download the files. Um, but if you look at these, you see they're slightly different, right? This one you can see an outline of black and this one you cannot. This is a cut file. This is a print then cut file. So we are obviously going to be using the cut file today, but I wanted to kind of show you the difference when it comes up on the screen. Um, and this cut file is an SVG and this print file is a PNG. Okay, so let's go into upload and I'll show you how I did this. Okay, so if you go to upload and then wherever you've stored these files on your computer, um, so if you pull in the SVG, you'll see that um, it comes up, it gives you an opportunity to name the image and then to tag it. And I always like to tag mine just because I upload a lot. Hit save. I'm going to delete it only because I already have it on the platform and I just don't want to add it again. Um, and then we're going to upload again. I'm going to show you PNG. Okay, so when you upload the PMG, it actually asks you simple, moderately complex, or complex. Now, this is a very simple file, um, so we'll just go with simple. But if you had a lot of detail, you see how the floral here has a lot of detail, and then if it had like a background and the detail, you would use complex. But we're going to go simple, select continue, and then at this point, it's going to give you an opportunity to um, edit the file in any way if you need to. This one doesn't need anything, but there's an eraser. Um, and then um, if you uploaded one that maybe had a background and you didn't want the background, you could use this tool to erase the background. Okay, we'll hit continue. Okay, so at this point, it's going to ask you if you want to save it as a print then cut, or if you want to save it as a cut file. Um, if you bring in this cut file, it has no color. You're going to have to go back in and recolor everything. Um, but if you bring it in as a print then cut, it's going to keep its color. Oh, and I should have tagged it. I should have tagged it Christian. Okay. And there we go. Well, I hope that was helpful and I hope um, that you'll hop over and give this project a try. And again, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and join me here every week for new videos. 